Hello, welcome back to Fundamental STEM, and welcome to the ninth video in this series of how to draw shapes with Scratch. And as you've seen in the previous video, we put the knowledge that we had gathered with all our shapes in our squares, and we made a spirograph image using our squares. We're going to go on and do another little bit of a project like that again. We're going to use again more of the knowledge that we've had from the previous shapes. And today we're going to do a project that's just going to be a little bit of fun. We're going to use our knowledge to draw a house using broadcasts and the code we've used for our shapes. But before we get into this, let me just quickly show you something here. I want you to have a look at um, on the Scratch website. If you search Fundamental STEM, you'll see uh, all of our projects are up there and they're all public. So if you haven't any hassle, uh, with any of these projects you can head over to the scratch website and all of our projects are here and uh, this is the this is the house that we're going to be making here i'm sure i'll open it up here and we'll have a look might as well have a little look at what you're going to be what you're going to be making today so we'll click on the green flag it's going to draw our tri our triangle and our square and our rectangle and another square and there's our little house so that's where we're going to be getting into today so let's get coding right let's start off by getting rid of our cat and getting our pen Okay, so we'll scroll down. Um, yeah, there's our pen. Let's get into costumes. Delete the second costume. And you know what we need to do. Put the tip of the pen onto the crosshairs. Get into backdrops. Scroll down to our brick wall. Okay, we're gonna grab our brick wall. There we are there. Click back onto our pencil and into code. Now, this is going to be a roof, the, the body of the house, the door and a window, and it's going to be split up into four different pieces of code. So what I'm going to use is, at the very beginning, we're going to use when the green flag is clicked. Okay, I'll zoom that just a little bit. And we're going to use a broadcast straight away. Okay, everything's going to be done in broadcast. So as soon as you click on the green flag, we're going to broadcast. And the message we're going to broadcast is, click on that little triangle and go new message click on that and you can type in here roof okay R O O F roof so roof is the first message now what we need is when I receive message okay so this is actually going to be the message for the roof but it's not going to say message one when I receive roof okay so we put the code in here so this is where our triangle lesson came in handy what we're going to need is our pen blocks first so let's go into our extensions grab our pen blocks and stick a few pen blocks in here so we start with the pen up and erase all so any previous work that was done then we need a go to block now the go to block for this one is going to be minus 50 and 50 so minus 50 in the x and 50 in the Y okay and I'm gonna start off pointing in the direction of 30 degrees okay pointing in the direction of 30 you can just grab this arrow and you can drag it or you can type in 30 degrees so after that we're ready to um, let's uh, set the color and the size of the pen let's go back into our pen blocks so we'll set the size of the pen to 5 and we'll set the pen color to uh, let's let's leave it at 50 50 grand now we're ready to start drawing so let's put the pen down okay put the pen down and we're going to put in the repeat the, the repeat blocks here for a triangle so if you remember back to the first of the uh, triangle videos we did an equilateral triangle and that's what I'm going to use here so we go into our controls and we pull out a repeat block now a triangle has three size, sides, so we can just put three in there. And what are we going to do three times? Well, we're going to go straight and turn and go straight and turn and go straight and turn. Okay, so we need the repeat block again and the motion block. Okay, motion block or a move block, move 10. And the numbers in there are 10 and 10, which is 100 total, and that's okay. We can leave that as it is. But the turning block that comes next turning block for this triangle is going to be 120 degrees okay so that's our triangle in 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 all okay so that's that's moving once and turning once and once we stick it into this repeat block 
it's now doing it three times which is our full triangle and when we're done drawing this this is the roof of the house okay as we've seen that's why we called the that's why we called that broadcast roof so once we're done drawing the roof the next thing we're going to draw uh, is is i'm going to broadcast to another piece of code to draw the actual house the body of the house so i need another broadcast okay so i'm going to pull a broadcast out here and i'm going to transfer that broadcast over to a new message and this message is going to be h o u s e house i'm going to click ok so then it's going to broadcast house okay so it's going to broadcast house well then we need to when i receive house so let's pull out a when i receive message okay and we'll put that here i just move this across a little bit and not when i receive message one when i receive house okay so this is going to be the next part now in the house what we need to do is the first part is a point in direction so that the pen is going to head up this way head back down head across and now i'm going to make it draw the uh, like a big square for the body of the house so it needs a point in direction that's going to start and the point in direction is 90 degrees so the first thing it's going to do is point in direction 90 degrees uh, we can change the color if you wish or I can leave those color blocks out so uh, let's 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 change the color of the block so change pen color um, you can change pen color by it uh, by a number or to a specific number so you can set the pen color to a particular number you can change it by whatever this is just aesthetic stuff it's really up to yourselves what you want to do um, but changing the color by 10 doesn't make much of an effect so I'm going to change the pen color by 50 uh, we'll leave the pen size uh, um, alone. The pen size is set to five, and we'll leave the pen size as five. And I'll, I'll just I'll stick that block in anyway. It shouldn't change, but just in case it does, we'll we'll, we'll put that in there again. So now we're ready for the square, which is actually going to be the body of the house. Okay. So we need a repeat block, and a square has four sides. So this is going to say four. Okay. And then we've got the same kind of thing that we had previously so over here we had repeat 10 by 10 that was that and then turn a certain number of degrees so this can actually be replicated okay we'll just change the numbers in it so we can put that up in there and we can put this one back down here and we'll just change the numbers in this one so the 10 by 10 that's that's quite a, that's all right yeah but the degrees are wrong okay so these degrees are for the triangle so this is a square so we need what is it 90 exactly very good so 90 degrees and then we're done drawing the body of the house okay we've done the body of the house so let's move on to the next part of the drawing right and that'll that's going to be the door so in order to go from this piece of code to another new piece of code we need to broadcast a message it's like a relay race so we're going to broadcast another message so this message that we're going to send out is going to be another new message and this is going to be door d o o r door and click ok so we're going to broadcast door all right so now down here i'm going to build another piece of code and this one is going to say when i receive when i receive door okay it's going to start getting into the code that we need for the door now the door a door as you'd know is it's not a square it's a rectangle so it's going to be kind of similar again we're going back this is a, this is what we did in the beginning of this series so that's why i was learning on teaching you guys all these shapes and showing this is just like showing you how you can take all that knowledge and turn it into something creative so uh we're now doing the door so what we need to do is we need to pen up okay so let's go to our pen and let's pull the pen up and let's go uh, change the color change the color by um no, let's set the color let's actually not do that well let's let's set the color to let's set the color to zero okay let's set the color to zero and the door is going to be at minus 30 and minus 50 so we need to need to go to okay so the door is going to be at minus 30 and minus 50 okay so it's going to be minus 30 is down here and it's going to be back a bit so it's going to be on the left hand side of the of the of the house okay and then the point in direction is going to be zero degrees again so we're going to start off going up okay we're going to start off going up 
Now we need to put the pen down. So let's head back into our pen. Grab our pen down block and stick that in there. Now this is a rectangle, okay? So remember from the rectangle video when we had the square and then we did the rectangle, we noticed that the big difference between a square and a rectangle is that even though a rectangle has four sides, when you're doing it in a repeat, you only do it twice because you have to take the long side and the short side as one thing and then you do long side and short side as a second one. So this is going to be a repeat of two. Okay, repeat of two. Yeah, let's change that to two. And we're going to have to actually program the long side and the short side. So I'm going to pull this off to one side and we're going to pull out a repeat block, a motion block. So repeat. So that's going to be a repeat 10, move 10, and that can be 90 degrees in there. Repeat 10, move 10, and 90 degrees. Okay, 90 degrees. And then we can repeat, we can we can duplicate that, okay? We can duplicate that and stick it on the bottom. So this is going to be the long side. And then the short side um, is going to be, so we have, uh, let me see. So this is... This is actually going to be too big. I'm going to have to change this to 5 by 10, so that's going to be 50, and this one's going to be 2 by 10, so that's 20. Okay, so this is going to go long, it's going to go 50, and it's going to turn 90 degrees. That's going to go 20, and it's going to turn 90 degrees. Then it's going to repeat again, and it's going to go another 50, then it's going to turn 90 degrees, and it's going to go another 20. Okay, and, and it's going to turn 90 degrees, but it doesn't really need to. But um, it's part of a repeat, it doesn't affect uh, what we're doing here. So, so we can stick that into there. So that's the long and short of the, the rectangle for the door. And finally, we got one last piece. So we got a handover, we're gonna draw a window. And so we're gonna have to broadcast again, we're gonna broadcast another message. And this one is going to be another new message. And it's gonna be window, W-I-N-D-O-W, window. Okay, click okay. And I'm gonna build that sort of up here. Okay, we have plenty of space there. We can build it in there. So the window is going to start with when I receive message, and the message is going to be window. Okay, when I receive window. And then we're going to start off with the usual. So click on to pen. We're going to lift up the pen. Uh, we're going to change the pen color. Okay, we're going to change the pen color. Uh, change pen color by uh, let's change the pen color by 100 just a random one it doesn't really matter what we change it by it's just to give it uh, whatever kind of crazy effect we want there and then we need to start it in a particular position so we need to go to X and Y so go to X and Y and the numbers in here are 5 in the X and minus 30 in the Y minus 30 in the Y we also need to point in the direction of zero degrees. Okay, so we can pull that up. Now, we can put the pen down. Okay, because we're ready to draw now. And the, this is literally just gonna be another square. So this is very much the same as the house. Okay, uh, we're just gonna have a different size. So let's pull out a repeat block. Okay, and um, we can stick a repeat block in there. Let's try four. In there and again we're gonna have another repeat block and this is going to be uh, a smaller one than what we previously used so I need uh, a motion block and I'm gonna put move 15 steps okay move 15 but I'm only gonna do it twice okay so it's gonna be 30 in total okay and then we're going to turn 90 degrees. Okay, turn 90 degrees. So this is actually going to be much the same as what we did for the house. But the, as you can see, we're only moving 30 steps. Um, and we're, um, we're turning the, the 90 degrees. You know, we, we don't need to use this, really. Um, I just kind of got into a habit of using this. We could just move, have a move block 30 degrees. But, uh, you know, I like the appearance of, that it gives. It's more to do with the visuals of watching the pen draw draw the actual picture you, you get me so let's uh, put that in there and let's pen up and pen out of the way right so that's what we're gonna 
we're going to put that in the last one. We're going to lift up the pen. Lift up the pen. So we're done drawing the uh, window. And we're going to pick up the pen and then we're going to chuck the pen out of the way. So that's going to send the pen off out of the way. So that's going to be a go-to block. And I'm going to stick in there um, minus 100, um, minus 100, and um, minus 90. Okay. So let's go large screen and have a look at how our code works to draw our house. So there's our triangle code, square code, and there we go. So there's our house. Now you can see there that the, the colors didn't really work. I could have picked different colors. But the whole idea behind this guys is that you just mess around with it. And I, I didn't want to make, I don't like these videos being particularly long. So you could add more windows. You could draw the square larger. You could draw your triangle larger. Basically put whatever you want. So the basic codes there, you guys mess around with it. Figure out what kind of works for you. And uh, be a bit more creative and, you know, draw a car maybe or draw... I don't know fire engine or something like that but it's like the, the basic knowledge is there so in the next video we're going to move on to some more complex shapes we're going to do uh, pentagons uh, hexagons octagons and then we're going to do some variables and then i have a surprise for the last video in the series so remember to click like remember to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one